If it can be sold on a service drive, you're going to be asked to sell it. The difference between selling services and accessories is this. When you're selling services, they're 70% closed before the customer even hits your service drive. What do I mean? Think about it. When's the last time you or you've known of somebody to be driving down the street after having bought a car and it's only nine months old and having a conversation like this? You know, honey, even though we've only had this car for nine months, I saw last night on television in a commercial where the manufacturer has a new braking system. So I thought maybe we should stop by the dealership and see if they can put that new brake system on our car. They don't. When people come in for services and repairs to your dealership, it's already 70% sold. The only sell that you have to make is to get them to understand that you're the best place to do those services and repairs. But when it comes to selling accessories, what you're selling is the dream. And the best way I know to explain that is this way. I used to sell cars, and what I noticed about selling cars was is that the closing ratio seemed to hover right around 25 to 30%. Now that may seem like a low closing ratio to you, but in reality it's not. Why? Because when people walk into dealerships to buy a vehicle, they're trying to buy a dream. They're hoping they can get this done. Think about it. Before you were in the car business, didn't you go in hoping you could get a brand new car? And didn't you dream that the finance department said the payment was going to be right so you could drive home in that new car? Of course you did. Everybody did. You're selling a dream. But when you sell services and repairs on the service drive, what you're selling is, is keeping the dream alive. When they come in again for the services and repairs, they're already sold. And you should have a 70% at least closing ratio on those. But when it comes to selling the accessories like the moon roofs, the sun roofs, the chrome wheels, the TVs and everything else, now you're back to selling the dream and it will take a different closing style forcing you to learn how to, to become a different salesperson. That's one reason for the change. Another reason, you are now being seen as the most important person in the dealership. Why? It's finally hit everybody from the manufacturer to the dealers to the department heads and everybody else involved that you talk to more people in a single day than anybody else does in that dealership in a week. That you have more to do with how much customer retention that dealership will have, how much and how high those customer satisfaction scores will be, and how much money that dealership's going to make. I mean, take this number with you to the bank. Do you realize that a service advisor that writes up just 15 repair orders a day will generate more gross income for a dealership than a salesperson does that delivers 30 units in a month? Now let me put that into perspective. I've been in the car business for over 25 years. I've sold cars and I've taught people how to sell cars and in the process I've worked with thousands of car salespeople. And during that same amount of time, I've only met seven, seven salespeople that can consistently deliver 30 cars a month, month in and month out, year after year, regardless of the economy, weather, or worldwide events. But during that same time, I've worked with thousands and thousands of service advisors that write up at least 15 repair orders a day. Your day has come. Again, you're now being seen as the most important people in the dealership by the manufacturer, the dealer, the department heads, and everybody else involved.